What's up today, my wonderful people? About to pull up in this parking lot and order some food right quick. I'm at Whataburger. Let me turn my AC down so you can hear me. I don't want to have no bad sound going on in here. Hey, I got a question. How come every time, every time in the drive-thru, whenever somebody pulls up, they always start their order off with talking about, let me get a, uh, every time. Remember that. The very next time that you with somebody and they get ready to order, watch they say, let me get a, uh, people crazy, man. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let me get a uh, I'm gonna get a number, a, a number two. Alrighty, want the meal or just a sandwich? Uh, I'm gonna get the meal. Alrighty, and that comes with mustard, lettuce, tomato, pickled onions. Is that fine? Extra lettuce and extra tomatoes. Just got out of church. Uh, probably about an hour ago. You know, I came in, you know, took off my little tie or whatever, threw on some jeans, right? Because I'm about to go to the store. I need to get some groceries. So I'm sitting here, you know, on my uh, on my phone trying to make a little grocery list, man. Because sometimes, man, I go to the grocery store. I be walking around all. I spend about two or three hours in the grocery store. It's hard to find stuff, man. You know, it's hard to find stuff for me. So I'm here trying to, let me show you my grocery list. Let me show you my grocery list. You know you want to see my grocery list. Let me show you what's up. Salad, cucumbers, cheese, and water. That is a horrible grocery list, man. Look at that. Yeah, so that's what you call a horrible grocery list right there. So I'm trying to add more things to it because you see, I got my cheese because I got, you know, hamburger buns and stuff like that, right? All I need is the cheese. And uh, cucumber, salad, yeah, you know, water. All right, I need, I need a lot of water, man, because, you know, drinking the faucet water, man, that stuff, that stuff tastes like shoe polish. All right, now I drink it whenever I have to, you know, if I run out of, you know, my, my, my clean, my clean water, but man, anytime you find yourself drinking that, uh, the faucet water out here in Texas, man, that stuff tastes like shoe polish. <laughs> now, I, I never drank shoe polish, but you know how sometimes, you know, you can smell a scent and automatically it's like you taste it. Like, you know, you think that you know what it tastes like. So that's the situation with that. All right. I don't want you to think I'm over here sipping on shoe polish all day, you know? But, um, <laughs> but man, so I got, I got to finish making up uh, my grocery list and, uh, yeah, man, try to get some groceries going. But listen, I also want to say thank you to everybody, you know, who support me, you know, with the camera, with the YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. I really appreciate you all. And, uh, none of this will be possible, you know, without you all and your support. So I just want to say I love y'all, man. I appreciate you all. And man, listen, this camera is nice now. I'm gonna be honest with you. This camera is nice, man. You know, uh, when you're on a camera like this, you gotta make sure that you brush your teeth. You know what I mean? Even if you brush them, you better go brush them again. Cause listen, this camera ain't gonna show everything. This camera ain't gonna lie to you. You know. So listen, now throughout the videos, I mean, I'm an open person. You see what I'm saying? I'm an open person. And I gotta be real with you. All right. I gotta be real, I keep it real with you, right? So, this type of camera picks up everything, all right? So, hey, sometimes, man, you gonna see like a little spot on my couch or something, you know what I mean? Like, well, I got a spot right there, matter of fact. Is that a spot? I don't know what that is. It look like some slob or something. About to finish up this little grocery list and after I finish the grocery list, I'm gonna type up an Instagram and Facebook post and post it to both of them. Then I'm gonna be heading out the door, so. uh I'm trying to look at my groceries and, and think of some other stuff, man. It's kind of hard to put some meals together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I can get the basics. I'm I'm a simple person. I'm used to getting simple stuff, making simple things, right? But sometimes I look online, I look at ingredients, you know, to certain things. And, man, they it's like 14 different things you got to buy. It's like little small, little baby things. Like, all right, you need one-fourth of an onion. You need <laughs> you need this much of this, this much of this. You need this type of season. You need... I'm like, man, that's like 15 things you got to buy just for one little meal. I'm the type of person, I'm like, man, you know, get a packet of cheese, get some ground some ground meat and some hamburger buns and call it a day, right? But I'm trying to get better. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm growing. Leave me some comments below. Help me out with some recipes, man, because I'll be more than happy to take y'all to the store with me, man, and, you know, we get it together. But listen, I got a question uh, on under my YouTube comment on my uh, on my very last video that I did, you know, unboxing the camera. And someone said, well, hold on, let me, let me read the exact comment again so I can make sure I answer it, you know, all the way. So that's what this video is going to be about. So the question is... I'm not gonna say the name. That's that's one thing about me. When it comes to video topics, I never really say the person's name. All right. Some people may be uh, embarrassed or things like that. So 
Uh, don't ever, don't ever worry about me trying to put you out there like that. I, I'm your boy. I got you, man. I got respect. You know, I don't, I don't do stuff like that. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So listen, here's the question. The question is, uh, I'm 19 years old. I believe and follow the word of the Lord, but I struggle with smoking weed. Maybe you could help me. So that was the question on my last post. And, um, uh, well, you got to ask yourself a serious question, okay? If you say that, you know, you're following the word of the Lord, right? But you're saying that you still, you still smoke weed, you know? So you're basically asking, is it, is it okay to still smoke weed? <laughs> That's what you're asking. Here's my answer to the question. Uh, I don't believe that it's okay to smoke weed, all right? <laughs> I don't believe that it's okay to smoke weed. Hey, I know, because listen, certain things you got to backtrack, man. And you have to ask yourself, why am I even doing this? You see... You don't, you don't deal with the fruit of a situation. You deal with the root of it. In other words, this is just a fruit hanging off of the tree, right? You got you to gotta dig down and find where, where did the root come from. It may have came from, from two or three of your homeboys. Y'all was at a party one night, and it was 2.30 a.m., and y'all was bored, and one of them was like, hey, man, hey, hit this. Hit this, man. Hey, just take one puff of it, man. It ain't going to hurt you. Come on, man. And you was, you was probably like, Nah, that's not me. I, I don't, I'm good. Man, you lame. You lame. You being lame. Everybody in here smoking. But what about you? Why Why are you not doing it? Yeah, you probably was like, you know what? All right. Yeah, pass it here. Let me, here, let me get that. I know what you did. I saw you that night. I saw you. All right. So listen, that's probably how it all started. So when you really focus on the root, you can say, oh, I see how that started. That's not really me. In other words, that was forced upon me. It's almost like riding a bike. You know, at first you don't know how to ride a bike. You don't even like a bike. But once you get to riding the bike, it, it becomes a part of you. You can stop riding the bike and start driving a car if you want to, but it's up to you if you want to stop riding the bike. So that's what you do right now. I mean, so that's what you're doing right now. You're currently riding the bike and that bike is called weed. Right? You riding the bike of weed. But sometimes in life you got to park your bike and put your kickstand down because because that was never your bike to begin with. That was somebody else's bike that they scooted into your life. Then you have to ask yourself this question, you know, and I've heard this a lot before. You know, I've got this question uh, uh maybe I say four times that I I can remember uh from people in my inbox. Actually, this exact question about marijuana. Uh, you don't want to ask yourself what's wrong with smoking. You know, people say, "What's wrong with smoking weed? What you trying? What you trying to say about smoking weed? You trying to say smoking weed? Come on now, let's be real here for a second. It's not about what's wrong with smoking weed. It's about what's right with it. <laughs> what's right? You tell me what's right. Forget about what's wrong with it. How can this help you? How is this advancing you? Uh, how is this leading you towards God? How is this growing you in your faith? You see, the devil wants you to, to smoke weed because you see the idle, uh, idle mind is the devil's playground. If the devil can get you in an idle mind, guess what? He got you. And that's going to stair step you and lead you to all types of sin, right? You know, you, you, in other words, you're out of your element. You're out of your element. You can't think properly. Now you're going to end up hitting the club. You end up having sexual relations with somebody because all you know is you high. You just want to have a good time. But no, if you have a sober mind, you are alert. In other words, you can you can discern things properly, right? That's why you see a lot of people at a party, they be high. People, they steal their wallet. I, I used to go to parties a lot. Now, look, now let me clear this up now. I never smoked before, all right? You know what I mean? I would tell you if I did. I never I never even smoked a cigarette, never smoked marijuana, never did any of that. I used to drink a lot now. You know what I mean? I used back in college, what well, the beginning the beginning years of my college, I used to drink a lot. You know what I mean? I used to drink a lot, man. But, you know, the Lord had to break that chain on my life, man. And um Yeah, but uh but let, let's get back to the main topic cuz I'm I'm deviating a little bit. But anyway, we're going no, we're going to keep on deviating. These the vlog videos, man. We go, we gonna, we gonna stay on that off road that we chose to take, right? But uh, yeah, I, so I used to drink a lot, man. But uh, but like I said, I never smoke. You know, when people smoke and they drink, you can you can watch the people around them. Listen, everybody that you smoking or you drinking with, they not really your friends. You see what I mean? Some people they waiting to snatch your cell phone when you get too high, 
or when you start thinking you all that and you you going out the box right some people are trying to make a fool out of you behind the scenes but you will never know i mean one time man i was drinking so much i think i had passed out one time you know what i mean I think I had passed. I was at a party or something. I, I forgot. I think I had passed out, man. I don't know why I drank that much. I was hanging with the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Running around with the wrong person. It ain't make no sense, man. I look I look back at that. I'm like, man, what, what was I doing? You know what I mean? Why, why, why you didn't just be yourself, D? That's how I talk to myself, D. See, when I talk to my old self, I call my old self D. I know that sounds kind of lame, huh? But anyway, let's get back to the video. I was like, man, what's, what was you thinking? But it all traces back to I wasn't strong in my relationship with the Lord. Because, see, as I grew closer to the Lord, I understood things better. Right? I, I gained more wisdom. Listen, the Bible says that God gives generously your wisdom if you ask him for it without finding fault. So, in other words, you can ask him for wisdom and he gives it to you generously without finding fault. So, anybody can have wisdom. You just got to ask for it. All right? So, um... But back to your question, though, you know, man, smoking weed, I, man, you need to go get your little blunts or whatever they call, you know, take them things and get rid of them. Don't give them to nobody. You know, first of all, people probably think, well, I'm going to give them to my homeboy so he can make some money off of it and sell it. No, you go flush it down the toilet. You know what I mean? You go, you go do whatever you got to do with it. In other words, you get rid of it. Like you, you literally pray and you ask the Lord to break that chain off of your life. Cause listen, the Bible says that in Christ, you are a new creature. All right. Now you may read that scripture and say, I ain't no earthworm. He said a creature, you know, I, I ain't no grasshopper. Come on now. He talking about you. So listen, if you really want to break that chain, like I said, you go flush your drugs down the toilet, man. Somebody watching this video, you may be struggling with it. You may say, that's just a, that's just what I need to hear. That's just a video I need to hear. Yeah, you go flush that stuff down the toilet, man. There is there is no future in that. Some some of y'all selling drugs, you know. I know, man, I got a lot of people on my Facebook list that sell drugs. I know that. I went to school with them. See what I'm saying? And I make these kind of videos to help those people. All right? I'm still cool with everybody, man. I'm the same person. But at the same time, God is using me to come back, you know what I'm saying, and get and get those people and bring them to him. So uh, I can, in my head, I can think of at least 12 people, you know, that I know, like, no, no, that's that's still selling drugs. It's no future in that. You may be making some money. You may be making a lot of money right now. But guess what? Every dog has his day. There will be a day when you get caught, right? And if you got family and you got friends and, and children or whatever all of them will suffer because of you you be locked up you know in other words you're gonna lose everything that you got so i challenge you if you're watching this video if you're selling drugs listen come to the lord listen the bible says in matthew 6 33 when you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness all these things will be added unto you meaning that everything you need will be given to you i know you may say i want peace of mind though when i when i smoke that weed i feel good man man listen that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to rely on that in order to get your peace of mind, right? But but it's a counterfeit peace of mind because guess what? Three hours after you smoked or three hours after you drank, you coming right back down and you got to deal with your same reality. See, God never gives you a, a permanent little fix. Like God's not going to let marijuana be permanent. He ain't going to let... Um, whiskey or, or Jack Daniels or Coors Light. He's not going to let that stuff be permanent. In other words, you got to come back down and come back to the reality and realize it is only God that can heal you. It is only God that can give you that peace of mind. It is only God that can bring you out of that. All right. So you wasting money on your little whiskey and, and your blunts because you're going to be right back in two, three hours, five hours, however long. I don't know how much. I don't know how long it take y'all. You know, but I'm just here to encourage you today. Listen, that you don't need that. It's time for you to break that chain. Stop asking yourself what's wrong with it and start asking yourself what's right with it. That can't get you anywhere. See what I'm saying? And you want to be an example to your children. Listen, your children, if you have children or if you don't have children, they watching every single thing that you do. And once they get older, sometimes they repeat them same them same habits. You know, I mean. You may be drinking in front of them all the time. It may be cool right now because you don't you don't see how something is being planted in them. You see what I'm saying? You may just think everything cool with it is what it is. 
You know how people like to say it is what it is. But no, little man, four years old, he watching you hit that 40 ounce. You you sipping your little 40. Little man watching you. I'm telling you, little man watching you. And when little man get 18 years old and he go through a little stressful situation, what, what is he going to do? Because you see, people will watch what you do, right? More than they will listen to what you say. You can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, people will watch what you do. So when little man is 18 years old and he facing, you know, a rough situation, guess what little man going to do? He going to hit that corner store. He going to find somebody to buy him a beer. And he going he gonna to tilt, tilt that 40 ounce just like you do. The same hand and everything. He going to be like this. You know how you lift your elbow up when you used to drink it. Oh, you still do? Look, he going to lift his elbow up just like that, just like you do. And it's going to be a mirror image of you, but you never saw it coming. So be mindful. You are planting seeds. Because listen, it's not about you. It's about who comes after you. You are laying the foundation and teaching them the right way to live. So it's a lot of stuff that's riding on your shoulders for the sake of a little bitty blunt. Man, you better throw that thing away. Change your life around. Whatever whatever you are using that for. Because listen, some people are just using that just to fill a void. Get back to the root. Find out why you even started. Find out what are you trying to hide from. What are you trying to numb your feelings from, right? And deal with it. Ask the Lord to reveal it to you. Ask the Lord to break that chain. And he will, all right? He will. He'll do it, man. He did it for everybody else. He'll do, it. He'll do it for you. The Bible says God is no respect of person. Meaning that he can do it for you too. I'm just like you. You just like me. He's just like you. She's just like you. Everybody's just like me. Meaning God, look, listen, you are God's child. So I love you and I really appreciate you checking out this vlog video. Like, that means a lot to me, man. That y'all check out my videos every day early in the morning or you you may check it out late at night but i really appreciate you all and it's my passion to really connect with you all you know one-on-one -on -one through the video and uh help you out with different questions and things like that because see we're all in this together that's the devil wants to separate you know christians especially men because you know naturally men think they just know it all and they want to isolate themselves and feel like oh i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be good but no god wants men to come together in fellowship and talk about things like this because listen we better together the bible says that iron sharpens iron right that means i sharpen you and guess what you sharpen me yeah you sharpen man you be sharpening me up because some days i'll be feeling like a little dull knife but i look what i do i rub up against you a little bit and i'm like a, a switchblade now nah. I love you. I really appreciate your support. Listen, if this video helped you out in any kind of way, be sure to share it because listen, there are some people you know on your Facebook or your Instagram or YouTube or whatever the case may be. They're, they're, they're dealing with alcohol addictions or smoking weed, right? And all they need is just the right word, right? They, In other words, they just need the word brought to them a certain way where they, where they can feel connected, where it can be real. You see what I'm saying? And once you hit that share button, you help out. Now you may say in your head, I don't know nobody that's on that that's struggling with, with drinking or, or struggling with drugs or what. That's because they hiding it from you. Because it's a lot of people that struggling behind the scenes. It's a lot of people that close their blinds, you know what I mean? And go get them a 40 ounce and don't nobody know. You will be surprised. You'll be surprised, man. So when you share the video, you help out more people than you know. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's very important because that way we can stay connected. Listen, you'll be notified every time a new video is up, right? I plan to get a ton of videos uh, up for you all and connecting more with you. I love you. I really appreciate you. Listen, drop me a comment. Let me know how your day is going, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, let me know how your day is going. Towards the end of the night, every day, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on my laptop, pull it up, and go through all the comments. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write everybody back because I really appreciate you. And those of you that comment regularly, you know, giving encouraging words to others that in the comment section thing, like, I know who you are, and I really appreciate y'all. All right? I really, like, for real, for real, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, I love you all. I consider you all family, all right? You know, I'm your brother. You my sister or my brother, right? We all are connected. We're all in this together, all right? And I will talk to you in the very next video.